reason that I film these videos is to show that you can have a healthy and strong relationship with food after it was your enemy for several years. You have to be at war against your body. You don't have to be at war against food. I promise you that life is so much better and more enjoyable when you just, when you let go. Life is short and we were not put on this beautiful planet to just lose weight and pay taxes, okay? Like, no. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kaylin and I post videos mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to click onto that subscribe button down below and become part of our little family. I'm bringing back one of your favorite videos, which is a what I eat in a week video. I love filming these. Anyway, today is Monday. I am slightly hungover. I don't drink a lot at all, but we had a Greek Easter celebration because my partner's family is Greek and there was a lot of wine involved and a lot of gin. And so not feeling 100% this morning, but I think getting in some water, coffee, and food is going to, to do me well. So let's get into it. It's one of those days where I don't have a craving or anything like that. And when that happens, I look in my beautiful fridge, try to find some things that would be like handy to use up. So let's go. So this is what the fridge is looking like right now. I feel like it's pretty stocked, but like mainly with beverages and things like that. But ooh, this cantaloupe need to use. There's also this sausage from dinner, like three nights ago. I think right now is like my last chance to use it. I'm gonna do an omelet because otherwise I don't really know what I would what I would do with the sausage. So I think that we've got everything in place. We'll do some of this red onion. Of course you can't have an omelet without cheese. Singing, but I tossed and turned a feeling I can't explain. No girl in town, dog hair, everything. friends do some damage to my brain. Look at how rainy and just gloomy it is outside, but I have breakfast over here, which definitely looks incredible. I ended up adding some spinach to the omelet. We've got the cantaloupe and then an English muffin with butter. Delicious. I swear to God, I can't go like more than five hours wearing like normal clothes. But now I'm wearing my pajamas, which I also think are super cute. And we are going to make some lunch for both Andrew and I, and I'm just gonna make some super quick kind of plain pizza because that's what I feel like. As you know, I'm an intuitive eater and I just, I give my body what it's asking me for. And I want pizza. Spicy oil, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> Why do you have to be so pure? Question all my good intentions But with you, oh, I'm so sure Tasting the fruit and smell the flowers Just bad and not, and girl, I'm yours Cause in the garden, that's your skin I'll be dreaming, that's for sure Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why, tell me why So the pizza just came out of the oven and it looks and smells delicious. I ended up adding some dollops of pesto on mine and some white onion. Just, I'm salivating. And I got this spicy oil from Costco, I believe, which is also incredible. Like one of the spiciest oils that I've tried, every time I buy them, I feel like they're not spicy enough. So I've got that. And this is lunch for today. First bite. I don't want to burn myself. Oh yeah. Slap me in the face and call me Mary. Delicious. When you're there, the despair is nowhere to be found in this all my life. And I'm well. My father-in-law brought this lemon raspberry cheesecake this weekend. I have a couple of bites because I'm really craving something. So I dream about blessing from above what I do to deserve it. The money, the time, and the hurt, and you work it. I'll show you my world. If I'm making my fluffy too. pancakes. I'm also going to add some of these chocolate covered blueberries so that they'll be like chocolate chip blueberry pancakes. Last forever, that's just an excuse. Your name is a drug that I want to abuse. Shoot up by my side of tango. It takes two. Good morning, friends. You know who else wants to say good morning? Tabaski, Tabaski, oh, are we gonna go outside later? 
Oh, you, not now, not now. I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> um, but good morning. Happy Tuesday. I feel like I have like a tickle in my throat. And I felt it yesterday. I took a COVID test yesterday and it was negative. Never, and I've never had COVID before, so I don't know. Let's just let's just see as the week progresses. I woke up and I'm not super hungry right now. I'm going to jump on a client call in like 10 minutes, so I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee this morning. Coffee. I want to like talk about a win for me like back in my eating disorder days and where I was really not confident in my body at all I would never wear sweaters like this because I always thought that they you know made me look bigger and now I'm just like so what if they do big's not a bad thing okay and it's comfy and it's cute and I like it which is the most important thing so wear whatever you want in you know, a certain body to wear something I bought this pre-made coffee because I don't want to make it. I think I need a big coffee today. One and a half pumps of vanilla syrup. Creamer of your choice. This is the one that I'm using. It's like a, what the fuck is this? Hazelnut macchiato flavor. I can put a lot because I like my coffee sweet and creamy, but do you boo? And we just blend. Okay, normally I'd whip this longer, but I don't have time. This is not stirring aesthetically. I'll taste test before I run upstairs. So good, it hits every single time, better than Starbucks. Changed into my dog walking outfit, which is just this with like a hoodie. We're gonna have some brunch before we go. As I mentioned this morning, I was not very hungry, and so I kind of just got distracted with work. Please prioritize eating. The reason that this doesn't affect me that much is because I've been in recovery for so long. If you are somebody who's actively healing from dieting, actively healing from your eating disorder, prioritize getting in your three meals and three snacks every single day minimum. I'm not really sure what I want. I have leftover pancake batter that I might might make like a peruse and I'll be right back. So I was actually feeling a lot more snacky and just craving very like different individual foods. So I just decided to put them together. I cut up some cheddar cheese. I'm gonna have some cucumbers, some of these garlic pita chips. They're so freaking good. I get them from Costco. Leftover cantaloupe, caramelized onion hummus, and of course my favorite tzatziki. So I'm just going to snack on all of this. As usual, I never show my portions because it just does not matter. Eat until I'm nice and satisfied and then go on my walk. Hi friends, a little update. Today is just a sad day and I'm letting myself be sad. I'm done work and I'm just going to lie in bed and watch The Night Agent, which is on Netflix. Highly recommend. I need some more food in my system, but I have no energy to cook. So I'm just gonna make a grilled cheese because it's super easy and like it's just a waiting game. So I'm gonna do that. This is what I'm having next. I love dipping my grilled cheese in ketchup. It's just so nostalgic to me. It was super simple, very easy to make, and that's what I need on days when my depression is kind of creeping up a little bit. Andrew went to go pick us up some dinner, and the dogs are eating their supper for tonight. Something a little bit sweet before he gets home. I feel like every single time I show you when Andrew cooks dinner, like it's almost always burgers, but I swear he cooks so many other wonderful things. But he's adding some cheese to the burgers outside right now. And I sliced up some white onion, pickles, lettuce, and I'm going to put lots of mayo, a little bit of mustard, and some ketchup as well. And we have some spicy fries as well. Hello, my sweet friends. I'm just waiting for my bagel to cook right now because we're gonna have a cream cheese bagel with like a little bit of spice. I'm gonna show you what I add to just spice it up a little bit. Feeling better today. As you guys know, I do struggle with depression, so sometimes it just sneaks up on me. And yesterday was a very gloomy day, and it might have played a role in how I was feeling. Really good night's sleep, and I watched a lot of my favorite TV show right now, which is Night Agent. And so it just, I don't know, it's given me motivation to think of today as like a fresh start. Make our concoction that's gonna go on the bagel before the cream cheese. A little jar. This fucking window gives it the worst fucking view, but we have a bird feeder and a birds. <gasps> birds are eating from it. That makes me so happy. Happy that I got that on camera because we have not seen birds eat out of that feeder before. Like one bird. 
probably around a tablespoon or so. Some sriracha. This just adds like a little something something onto the base of your bagel. There's the bagel uh, before you add the cream cheese on. Burnt this bagel. But we will survive. You know what? I think I'm just gonna do this on one bagel because I'm feeling like I want one plain bagel as well. If you've never tried putting honey and sriracha on a cream cheese bagel, do it because you're missing out. It's just so good. I could not be asked to cook, so I got a bunch of sushi for myself. Andrew's shaking his salad that he got, but I got some sushi for myself. I did this whole thing for myself, and I'm so happy that I did. So freaking good. Freaking good does this ice cream cone look in a waffle cone. Perfect way to end the night. Hello friends, I forgot to put on my jewelry this morning, so I'm feeling very naked, so I'm gonna do that after I film this clip. I did film yesterday, so today is Friday, and I decided, because this week has been kind of boring, I mean, I haven't been very adventurous, I've been a little bit sad, the meals haven't been very exciting, I figured that I would combine another video idea that I had just to give you a little bit more, like, substance, substance, there we go. I'm hosting a dinner party for my friend Erin's birthday tomorrow. She's 26 and I'm just so excited to celebrate her and see my friends. Making a lot of cool recipes for that dinner party. So what I'm gonna do is today and tomorrow, we're still gonna do the whole what I eat in a week video. I'm, I'm gonna show you all that stuff. And I'm also gonna show you some recipes today, some recipes tomorrow, as well as some like behind the scenes of the dinner party. So I hope that that's gonna be exciting. There are I think two things that I have to prep today, which again, fun stuff. But first things first, coffee, putting in my jewelry and going to work. Ice as usual, I'm basically making the exact same iced coffee. I got more of this cold brew. We did go to Costco yesterday, but I'm gonna show you some of the things that we did get, basically because I'm gonna be using them for recipes. But I picked up this at the grocery store, so this time I got the white chocolate mocha. I've been using the hazelnut one like I showed you. We're gonna try white chocolate. Never had Stokes iced coffee. Oh my God, there we go. Interesting. I love when it trickles down into the coffee. It's just such a beautiful freaking sight. Okay, a taste test. Let's see if it's better or worse than the other one. I like it a lot. The coffee is different too than the Starbucks one. Really like it. I'm gonna give this one an eight on 10 and the other one a 9.5 on 10. Breakfast today is going to be a yogurt parfait with my new obsession. It's this mocha flavored yogurt, it's so delicious and I love pairing it with granola in particular. It's so good. Love Crunch Granola is probably like my ride or die granola that I buy. And this is the espresso vanilla cream flavor which I'd never tried before but I tried it last week Amazing. So anyway, I'm gonna chop up some fruit and get this bowl ready. My friend nostalgia, I found you when I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well. Blueberries from Costco are literally always freaking no from years ago. We were laughing about some nonsense. Oh how I miss for him wine because I left him for like an extra 30 seconds outside. Look at him. He's like, let me in, mom. Hey, my little prince. Yeah, you're so cute though. You can do whatever you want because you're so cute. And then there's him. Hi. You look excited. Where are you going? I don't even know where you're going. Good boy. Yeah, hello. Oh, you want attention. Oh my goodness, there are so many puppies. How many outfit changes can your girl make in one day? As we learn on this channel, it is limitless. But it is time to do a little bit of prep work in the kitchen and I want it to be super comfortable. I think my boobs were like outgrowing that dress. I feel like they were being suffocated. So now I'm feeling, yeah, more comfortable. TMI, who cares? We're just friends here. I made the menu for the girls' night that I'm having tomorrow slash birthday party. We're gonna prep a couple of things today just so that tomorrow I get to like ease into my day. 
Um, the house is already clean, so I get to like check that off my list. The only thing that I always do the day that people come are my floors. Because I've got dogs, they get messy even though they were done yesterday. So it'll be good to like just mop and do that tomorrow and not really have to worry about too many other things. I think we're gonna be prepping two things mainly today. One of them is homemade focaccia, which I'm so excited to show you guys. It's one of my favorite recipes. It's super easy to follow. And focaccia is an overnight recipe. So if you're ever wanting to make this yourself, make it one day in advance because it does have to sit in the fridge for like 10 to 12 hours. And then it also has to sit on the counter. It's a really easy recipe and like all of your patience just has to be towards the time instead of like a very complicated recipe. And we are also going to make a Mexican spicy shrimp avocado salad this is so good especially like the longer it gets to sit in its juices um it sounds so weird to say but it's true this recipe from my father-in-law he makes the best shrimp like salsa ever it's not a salsa it's just like the shrimp salad and i've never made it myself so i'm excited to put it together but let's start with the focaccia first bowls start off with our bigger bowl over here so into your bowl you're going to add four cups of all-purpose flour my cup has lost its handle which makes this a little bit more difficult and to your flour mixture you're also going to add in two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of sugar and then we're going to set that bowl aside bowl numéro deux we're going to add in two cups of warm water also going to do two teaspoons of yeast i'm using bread machine yeast like i'm not that particular about it but instant yeast would probably work um well as well you're supposed to add the sugar here by the way i messed up but that's fine now we're gonna wait until this bubbles a little bit all right besties when it's looking a little bit like a science experiment like this you are all done well you were done this step <laughs> that big flower bowl that we made create a mini well inside just by like making a little circle in there like a little nest to pour your warm yeasty mixture into it but all at once it's no problem and you don't have to knead this with your hands either, which personally I really like. So then you're just going to mix this together until it's a nice, very sticky ball. I added around like a half a cup more of warm water. It really is about consistency and I'm bad at measuring flour. So I usually have to make a couple of adjustments. It should be tacky and like a little bit sticky. That's kind of what you want. So our work for today is actually nearly done. The last thing that you're going to do is drizzle like a very generous amount of olive oil, like four tablespoons or so on top. And you're gonna put this in the fridge, cover it, and then we will see this bad boy tomorrow. We're gonna be working on our shrimp salad, which again, I can probably eat every single day. I'm just hoping it tastes as good as Andrew's dad makes it. By the way, whenever I call um, like my in-laws, Andrew's parents, my in-laws, we've been together for five years, we have a house, we have dogs, we're not married. They are my in-laws, like they are my family, even if we're not married. That's just what I refer to them as. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cook a pound of shrimp, which sounds like a lot, but I'm following the recipe. This I got from Costco because it's the most economical. I know that shrimp is expensive. You can probably half this recipe if you want to. Drop these into boiling water for two to three minutes and then just run cold water over them to cool them down and just to let them do their thing. So let's do it. Sometimes people comment and they ask why my stove makes that sound, that buzzing. It's because it's an induction stove and it heats up super quickly. Love it, except the sound. Realize that the recipe that I'm making serves 12 and I'm not mad about it because one, servings are like whatever, like can't actually know how much everybody's gonna eat. So I'd always like to have more. And if there's leftovers then I get to have this as like sides or have a lot for lunch or something like that with some bread, garlic bread. I hope that this pot is big enough and I hope that I'm doing right, doing right. I do hope that I'm doing right, but I hope that I'm doing this right, so. Hey Google. Set a timer for two and a half minutes. All right, two minutes and 30 seconds. Starting now. Besties, the first thing that you're gonna do is take a third of a Spanish onion and you're gonna chop that into super small pieces and just add it to a big salad bowl. And you're going to do a quarter of a cup of lime juice. It's supposed to be fresh and I forgot to buy some at the store. So we're gonna be using um, lemon juice and you're just gonna give it a quick stir and then the onions are gonna sit in here for around 10 minutes. Next up, you're going to add in one diced English cucumber. I cut it into really small pieces and kept the skin on. You can peel it if you like. And three Roma tomatoes. Really hope that this bowl is big enough because I don't have a bigger one right now. 
This is like a trust the process recipe. So we're going to add a cup and a half of Clamato juice. Listen guys, I don't like Clamato juice, but I love this. One cup of ketchup. Tablespoon of hot sauce. I'm gonna do sriracha. Getting our pound of cooked shrimp. You can cut these up if you'd like. I'm just putting them in whole because like they're kind of like bite-sized pieces. They're really, they're not that big. And let's give this a good mix again. Fuck, that's spicy. Just take a bite. Wow. Two avocados that I diced up. I might add a third, but if I do that, it will probably be tomorrow. Delicately mix this in because avocado can break apart really easily. It has to sit in the fridge for at least two hours. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Mine will be there for like 24 hours, which is great. Look at how good this is looking, but actually the last ingredient is just some chopped cilantro. I don't really like cilantro, but I think it goes well in this dish. Flavors, they just work really nice together, but you can use parsley as well if you don't like cilantro. The shrimp salad is all prepped for tomorrow. God, I took a bite and it already tastes amazing, so I can't wait to see what it's gonna taste like tomorrow when all of the flavors have set in. But you're just gonna cover this and keep it in your fridge until you serve it. Now I have to clean up, which is my least favorite part, and then I'm gonna look at my list and see if there's anything else that I can prep for today. But if not, it's Friday, and I get to relax. Ooh. It's my third outfit change of the day. That's my attempt at a, like a Scottish Irish accent, but it wasn't very good. In my PJs, which is usually my final outfit. For lunch right now, we're just going to do a quick chicken wrap. So I just microwaved a plain tortilla. I'm gonna add our chicken. These are just frozen chicken tenders. I accidentally bought the gluten-free ones, um, but they're surprisingly good. I think that they're tasty, even though I would usually just stick to the regular ones. Gonna do some mayo lettuce and some cheese i don't like to put the cheese directly on the chicken because then it melts and like i don't really like that and i think i'm gonna put just a little bit more mayo. and this is lunch for today cheers mm. i took my evening shower and i used this red hair mask my hairdresser recommended it to like bring back the red in my hair i feel like this is so much more vibrant than it was before i love it it's called crow mask and it's by the brand ice cream I'm like stalling with I, i'm like I'm like the computer with the little the little wheel you know like thinking um second iced coffee of the day it's friday and whenever it's friday and i don't have to get up early or saturday or something like that i just love having an iced coffee in the evening days go by so quickly and i get so tired maybe i should just go to sleep but i don't want the day to end i'm having one of these but this time i made it with the hazelnut creamer instead but creamer and i like it more than the other one let me tend to the pooches we are having burgers tonight again for dinner look how good that looks and on the side over here, we're also having some spicy fries with mayo. Hello friends, it is currently, it's two in the morning and I'm making an orange cake for tomorrow. I couldn't sleep, so I figured I would do this instead. Full recipe is going to be linked down below. Circumstances made it so that I'll never see their face. Not so good. Except for on the internet, where I'll never really know what's going on. We left the back door open tonight when Andrew was grilling burgers and there's so many mosquitoes in my house and I know that they're gonna die and I can vacuum them up tomorrow but I just, ooh, I hate mosquitoes. Seem to love me and they just leave Andrew alone. I'm pretty sure they have like a specific blood type that they like. I'm going to make like different desserts. I think that it's so fun because I find that I like get stuck in these ruts all the time of making the same stuff. I think I want to do a what I eat in a day video with like just new foods. I think that that could be really fun. I did not sleep well at all last night. No Tabasco. <laughs> He literally just came inside and he keeps asking to come inside and then asking to go outside. So I'm gonna give him five minutes. It's 9.30 this morning and I ended up going to bed at like 3.30. People that once I'm up, I'm up. 
I have so much trouble sleeping. I'm doing a lot better though with my insomnia um, because of like sleep aids and things like that. For anybody else who struggles with their sleep, I feel you. It's hard and it can just be really tough on your entire day. Some things that I want to do this morning. I wanted to show you the orange cakes that I made last night because they look so good. So proud of them. This one has holes because I poked it a million times to check it. Um, but that's going to be the bottom layer anyway, and they're going to be covered in frosting. So I'm really excited. I made an orange cream cheese frosting, and we'll frost this later together. I'm thinking of like maybe, I don't know, like putting orange slices on top of the cake for decoration. But then I have a feeling that it's going to like, I don't know, get soggy or something. I'm going to make some coffee and get started with my to-do list for the day. By the way, I didn't film it, but last night I had um, a bowl of cereal as a snack. I was way too tired to whip out my camera, and I had some jelly beans, which is fun. And again, this is a reminder that like it's so hard to whip out your camera every single time like you have something to eat. So I mentioned this in past videos, and I'm just gonna mention it again. Like sometimes there are snacks, uh, little what is it, bits and bobs, bits and bots, bits and bits and bobs uh, that I have that I don't show you. And that's not because I'm trying to be deceitful. That's because, again, this, I, these videos are just to give you kind of motivation to have you know, a, a healthy relationship with food. To give you like a safe, comforting space because there are a lot of people on YouTube and Instagram, TikTok, who make food content, right? Who make what I eat in a day videos. And a lot of the times, at least for me in the past, those places didn't really feel safe. I felt judged or ashamed or I compared myself so much to them. And I'm not saying that that's not possible with my videos. Absolutely not. Comparison is, I mean, the thief of all joy. And I know that that happens no matter what you do. I think that this place is safer with like the language that I use around food in general and just my overall attitude. And I think it's really important to have a space like this. So I don't show you every single thing. I don't show you my portions. I don't show when I go back for seconds or thirds, etc. I don't show you if I finish a plate or not because that information is not helpful and the only person that gets to dictate how much I eat is my body. That's it. And my body is going to be different from your body and that's okay. Let me get started on my chores for today. So this is our focaccia. It definitely doubled in size, maybe like doubled and a half. And now you're just going to take a, what the heck is this? I'm like blanking, what is this called? A baking dish I'm going to put it in here and it's going to rest for two hours before you cook it I'm gonna let it rest until my guests are here and we'll add the toppings and do the dip dimpling dimpling which is the best part of making focaccia and I'm just going to spread it out in this dish and then we're going to let it sit Now I'm cutting some orange peel off because I'm going to make fresh orange juice for the cocktails that I'm making tonight. But take a pot and just throw your orange peels in there. And then we're gonna add boiling water later, put this on the stove, and it just makes the house smell incredible. Let's do something like this when guests are coming over. Cinnamon sticks, lemon, orange, you can really do whatever kind of combination you like. I once made the mistake of like throwing an entire orange with like the peel in my juicer. That juice was the worst juice I've ever had in my life. I'm trying to get back to that good feeling. I remember you was with that. Ain't nothing got to change. I've been thinking about my recent purpose for living. Make me realize that I'm only here to love and to live. Yeah. Why am I like this? I don't know. So I've got a lot of cleanup to do. I'm so freaking excited. The cocktail's gonna be super simple. It's just gonna be this with some gin uh, shaken with some ice, but I think it's gonna be incredible. So I have my orange peels with a little bit of water and I just put it on really low and let it boil. Not let it boil, let it simmer until everybody comes. I'm currently working on a lot of caramelized onions. This is gonna shrink, but I am for an appetizer making a caramelized onion baked brie. And it's actually like the easiest recipe ever. Get a hunk of extra creamy brie. I got this one from Costco and you're going to score it. So you're not gonna cut it like 
through. You see how I stopped midway through? And this is just so it's easier to like scoop up um, with the onions and things like that. And you're gonna put it in an oven proof bowl. It's a big ass piece of brie, so I'm just gonna shove it in there. There we go. And then once the caramelized onions are done, I'm just gonna top it on the brie, put it in the fridge, and we'll bake it when everybody's here. Tonight for dinner, I'm making a spring risotto. And so I just prepped some of the vegetables right now, onion, garlic, mushrooms, and peas. Now we're going to move on to the cake. With clean hands, let's get started. This is the after, I put some icing in the middle, and now we are just going to Put the rest on top. Kind of just putting icing on the top. Personally, I'm not great at icing the sides. So I just leave it. And I think that it usually looks pretty damn good. Sometimes you can't explain the simple things now. Like when your mama says she loves you. Trying to get my life in order. But I got this on my shoulders. And I just can't shake the feeling that I'm only getting. Orange cake is literally my favorite cake ever. I feel like she looks so cute. The cakes came out so moist, so I'm so excited to try this later with my gal pals. The onions are still caramelizing and I just got hungry and I'm having basically the exact same breakfast as yesterday. There was only like a little bit of yogurt left, so I just made it right in the container to save dishes, but breakfast. My friend should be here in around an hour. I also had a bagel that I forgot to film, but I set the table. I also made a little menu because I thought I would just make it a little bit special. And at everybody's place, I put like these little chocolates. They're by Gillian and they have a bunch of different flavors and they're just so cute. Yeah, everything is set out and I'm going to throw the focaccia in the oven. I also got ready. I'm wearing this cute little white sundress from Old Navy and some Ana Luisa jewelry as always. Yes, it's focaccia time. So excited to dimple this with clean hands, of course. I'm going to put on a generous amount of olive oil. Go in with our fingers and we just, this, I swear, is the most satisfying oh, thing to do ever. Now it's time for our toppings. And because we're gonna pair this with our brie, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm going to do some kosher salt. My house kind of smells like onions <laughs> because of all the caramelized onions before. So I kind of want to get this in the oven before everybody comes. I don't know if that's too much salt, but if anything, we can pick it off. We've got some fresh rosemary. I love rosemary on bread. It's so good, but I don't really like it in like most dishes. I realize now that I didn't grease the bottom of this, so it might stick. It's too late now, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh my goodness, so this is what the focaccia looks like before it's going in the oven. It smells incredible already. And I'm also putting out a bowl of munchies so people can just munch on something when they come in. They don't have to wait for the appetizers. My friends are almost here, but the focaccia just came out. It smells and looks incredible. Very stuck to the bottom. So I'm gonna try to fix it, but if not, we will salvage it somewhat. Doesn't it look so good? Yes. Meant to be in the camera. Erin's here. She's so sweet. Um, I, so sweet. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys the risotto and we ate it all. Let me show you the remnant. The recipe for this is going to be linked down below. It was so freaking good, wasn't it? <laughs> We also had the baked brie earlier, which was delicious, and we are about to cut into some cake, and I'm making some orange pico tea for everybody. Hello, my friend. My pals just left, and it was so much fun seeing them. We always have such a good time, and like you can hear my voice is going a little bit. That also happens every time I see them because we talk so much. I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to, but that's okay because I was just enjoying the moment with my friends. But dinner was so great. We had risotto, we had the shrimp salad that I showed you guys how to make, focaccia with the brie and the onions. We had the cake, we had tea. We had so many wonderful things and I'm just so grateful to have such a wonderful group of friends who also have like a positive relationship with food because I feel like that's very rare to find in a friend group these days, but I am very, very lucky. What I eat in a week video is like very varied. You got very, very simple recipes that are also realistic. Ah, there's a fly in my 
book. Anyway, hope you like this video. If you like videos like this, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye friends.